what is up everybody golden yogi here and you are tuning into the channel with the golden perspective today we're going to take a look at crypto blades kingdoms all right before we get into it i want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below and while you're down there be sure to turn on the post notifications so you know when the next video is coming up also in the description you will see a link to my library odyssey please do yourself a favor go over there and follow me there it's uh you're going to be happy in who knows how many how much time when youtube censors everything this is where you're going to want to see content so also leave me a comment let me know what you think about this game and my only request is to please be civil in your discourse this is a call to action across the board in anything that you do kindness and compassion are absolutely free and I really feel that if we each use them to filter our thoughts through them, then we can all make the world a better place. So without further ado, let's take a look at Crypto Blades Kingdoms, the follow-up to Crypto Blades, the current game on Binance Smart Chain. We're looking at the website right now. We're looking at some of this game art. Uh, I've never played the game because it's, uh, you know... <laughs> When I left gaming, it was still very hard. So, uh, it's the 27th today as I'm filming this, so by the time you're seeing this, it might be the day of. It's uh, developed by the game company Riveted Games. Crypto Blades is a role RPG game where players battle monsters, craft unique weapons, participate in raids, and trade their items on the open marketplace. Okay, you can see here when price opened up, it was about 550, and price dropped down to uh, some low numbers. Okay, sub, let's see, what was the all-time low? 69 cents. Then it shot way up to $184. And now it's still sitting at about 3x what it opened up as. So there was time to get in. There was, you know, just like all projects do. They come, they, they move, they dump, they go up, they dump, they go up, they dump. You know, until we find and shake out a lot of the speculation of it let the project really develop build itself out that's all fantastic um another thing we can look at uh since this is coming up as a game that's already under development and there's ways to pivot the players in and out of it as far as rpg games on binance smart chain crypto blades is coming up as number two in um the socials in the uh last 24 hours okay um, one thing as well, we go up to the top of all of the medium channels. For those who have already been playing Crypto Blades, you can prepare for Kingdom by onboarding your heroes from the, uh, the RPG game. Okay. So go and read this they're proud to announce and establish this is not only uh to you know to this popular DeFi game um that it's a web-based game that you're going to be able to move your your characters and assets over into this other game so they're going to be interchangeable a bit it looks like um the biggest thing for anyone to know at this point in time okay is I mean please please go go play uh, uh, Crypto Blades if you want to get an idea for how Kingdoms is going to be and what these developers are are capable of go check it out but they are getting a following it is constantly growing okay uh, so Cedify which is a uh, like a launch pad for um, games. It's got all the details right here. Okay, let's look into it. All right, hello, Cedify community. Uh, don your armor and sharpen your swords and prepare for battle to the game. We, we are incredibly excited to share the announcement. Yes, yes, yes. September 28th and 29th is a pre-sale in IGO. 
Uh, we're going to skip through a bunch of this. Okay, so incubated by Cedify, developed by the CryptoBlades team. CryptoBlades Kingdom, the CDK, okay, is a metamorphosis of the current CryptoBlades game into exciting strategy-based land building. Okay, so MMORPG, a metaverse. All right. This part gets me a lot more excited than just a game is building pieces of the metaverse because that's when I got really excited. Again, when I was mentioning Sir Crypto telling me about all this stuff, he has been following deeply into the metaverse, the sandbox, that just all these other network, uh, all these other different metaverses where you can own land. Now, also watching Ready Player One, I went and watched it again just to get an idea of what we may be looking at in the future. And I really feel like this is a direction, a very strong direction. And I'm willing to bet on it. So, uh, CryptoBlaze Kingdoms dares to push the limits of what one might imagine a blockchain game can be. Uh, the CryptoBlaze Kingdom Metaverse. The Kingdoms Metaverse will feature lands, buildings, and guilds, new gameplay modes like raid mechanisms, PvP, PvE, and dungeons, which will create an immersive gaming experience that both blockchain gamers and non-blockchain gamers will want to dive into. Existing on a 5,000 by 5,000 grid mat, CBK will feature different land tiers, each with varying resources and advantages in the game. Different territories will include different mechanics, some areas will be friendly or neutral, while other parts will be designated for players versus player and guild versus guild gameplay. PvP territory lands will boast unique resources and advantages, making ownership and acquisition much more appealing. The base names of the territories are Empty, Friendly, Hostile, Barbarian, and Abandoned. Let's see if we can see any of this here. No. While some of the lands will be available to be purchased, the most uh, resourceful and danger-inviting lands will only be accessible through raids. The lands you've got to play, all right? Uh, the land system will play a vital role in governing the game's base economy through the mechanics and various resor varying resources and advantages in the different territories, opening up the way for advan advanced trading mechanisms, mechanisms to take place. Excuse me. So I really like this, that, you know, you got to play the game in order to really start to own things, all right? It's kind of like um, when the, in the United States, when um, the Louisiana Purchase was made, there's an old film called Far and Away, uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. And it, it, it's a story of uh, these Irish immigrants trying to make their way and they hear about this place where it's just going to be a free for all for land. Okay. Now this is a little bit different, but you were able to just run amok and go and claim land and make it yours. Okay. And then you had to, uh, protect it and garner it. Okay. So this is going to be quite interesting. Players level of involvement in the gameplay will be a critical role in the rewards and items they can access through various mechanics, such as PVP, PVE and GVG. And event-based games. In simple terms, the higher the commitment level and the risk you take, the higher the reward you can reap in CBK. Like, I'm going to be turning my nine-year-old or almost nine-year-old on this one, okay? <laughs> um, on the onset of their adventure, the Crypto Blades Kingdom's new players will receive their own village on a customized piece of land in a random territory in the kingdoms. Through an in-depth PvP combat, treacherous dungeons, and meticulous design PV PvE battles, players will then endeavor to build and strengthen their village through the gathering of resources and the raiding and pillaging of other villages. Strategy and commitment to learning the game mechanics will be paramount in earning rewards through combat and success during raids. Players will need to plan arduously considering the stats of the village they are attacking and the strengths and susceptibilities of their own heroes, armies, and equipment before engaging in battle. Since the Crypto Blaze Kingdom's rewards mechanisms play a significant degree of importance on the previously mentioned approach to gameplay, players who employ strategy and efforts to learn the game mechanics will have the ability to substantially increase their earnings. Repeat, players who employ strategy and efforts to learn the game mechanics will have the ability to substantially increase their earnings. 
gamers this is a call to action guilds any player will be able to join a guild this will create scenarios where players can build new friendships and teams to access features only attainable through group play all right further invaluable incentives of being part of a guild are the ability to receive rare and legendary items collaborating on raids gaining access to exclusive dungeons support for your village when attacked and having someone you trust keep an eye on your village to further create incentives to engage in group strategy and gameplay guilds a guild quest will feature high reward opportunities all right by combining advanced land building to, uh, mechanics enhance earning potential based on strategic gameplay and incentivize social aspects through guild and group collaboration cbk is poised to explode into the gaming crypto sphere through and just the game sphere through daily special event and guild quest cbk will be able to gather a significant dedicated and excited user base that uh, engages on a daily basis to maximize and take advantage of the play to earn opportunities the cbk metaverse has to offer now the cbk it's so funny i keep rings a bell and i'm like cbk cbk uh it's like california pizza kitchen with cpk um <laughs> anyway i diverse the king token that's what it was yeah the king token and the cbk economy now the king token is the life force of the cbk economy used for in-game purchases and rewards the king will be the medium of exchange for in-game transactions in-game items like lands, resources, and items come into the form of NFTs and will be tradable and sellable. To maintain a healthy and sustainable economics economy within Crypto Blades Kingdoms, every in-game transaction, for example, sale of land or equipment, will result in a deflationary event through a built-in burn mechanism, which will burn king tokens. All right. Supply go down, price go up. So perhaps they learned some things from the previous game. Moving it forward. Contrary to most games that employ a strategy which results in more items and tokens being produced, CBK will implement game syncs. Game syncs. Through player versus player and player versus in, uh, environment? PVE? Oh, yeah, I think so will uh, be imperative this will be imperative in achieving a realistic and improving economy while simultaneously maintaining an enhanced immersive game experience as the user base grows so pvps in hostile lands will come uh, with higher risk to lose certain items but also high rewards to gain even better resources and items as well as resourceful lands to build your kingdom upon of course, for players who just want a chill game experience, PvE areas uh, which are non-hostile areas will be there with less game sinks. Okay, so game sinks are basically potential to gain big or lose big. This is how you really uh, step up, I'm guessing. So perhaps a, a strategy where you play a little bit of that, a little bit of this, you know, and, and kind of like uh, how you would manage uh, a fund. So, we got four million in development raise funds. The partners, you got a bunch of partners here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Partners, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at the CPK private sale and IGO details, how you can gain early access to King tokens on the Cedify launch pad. So you need to get Cedify, so let's take a look here. Cedify. S fund tokens. How much are they? Have they been pumping lately? Where oh no. If I there we go. Alright, up 1.3% today. Let's look at, say, the last 14 days. Not bad. You could have paid more for this. Let's look at, like, the last 90 days. This is a pretty good consolidation period, okay? Um, and let's see from a max. Yeah, not bad. This is a nice consolidation. See how many times it touched down right here? Uh... I wouldn't imagine that this would drop much more, okay? I mean, everything else have, would have to drop with it. So, uh, 
That's pretty good. King Tony, King, blah, blah, blah. King Token is a bet 20. What's the Binance Smart Chain? Total supply, 1 billion. Initial market cap, 400K. Excluding liquidity, the list price will be 4 cents. The private sale is September 28th at 3 p.m. UTC. So get, get going, okay? Unfortunately, this video might be out by the time, uh, or this private sale might already be happened by the time, but you can get it for two cents, okay? The vesting is a three month lock and then 10% unlock each month. Maybe you just wait to get it on release, okay? Then you have no unlocks. Now you have the IGO, which is a day later, which you probably will see this, which will have a 25 per, the vesting will be 25% unlock on the day of, so the, the token generation event, and 25% unlocking in the following months. Um, so I guess per month, so three months of, uh, and then you have everything. While everyone else is gonna be locked for that three months and then release 10% a month. So you, you get a better price, but you, could pay that price all right while we're going to hold crypto blades kingdoms as an exclusive igo we decided to give small portions of allocations to more large pads so there could be more awareness about cbk we believe c defy community allocation of 900 almost a million will be decent enough enabling our community to buy more allocations than other igo to date so go check out um you know, more how to join IGO at Cedify. It's all right here in this Medium article. Uh, you know, you're going to have to KYC, all these things. This is why I'm thinking you may just want to get these things on the open market after initial dump. You know, it typically happens. So uh, I'm guessing this thing will sell out. I'm not sure, but go have a look for yourself if it so interests you of course you know not saying financial advice whatsoever um i am i am picking up some of these i think we'll see if i'm lucky <laughs> um so uh let's let's hear what you have to say in the comments um i really want to know what you think about this the future of this game i really like the land dynamics that's something uh that has me really interested into the future of these type of game dynamics so let me know again please be civil in your discourse and again follow me on library subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications so you know when the next videos come